Hi, in today's video we're going to be talking about DFCO, which stands for deceleration fuel cutoff. If your car has a trip computer with immediate fuel consumption display, you probably notice that sometimes uh, when you drive your car, the engine seems to be running, but there's no fuel consumption, it shows zero. And to understand why is it happening, we have to remember that simple fact that the engine is connected to wheels. It doesn't really matter what kind of car we're talking about, is it front wheel drive, uh, rear wheel drive, with auto or standard transmission, the engine is what makes car move forward or backward. And because of that, at some certain conditions, for example, when car is going downhill, kinetic energy of the moving car is able to spin the engine's crankshaft as well. This is actually how regenerative braking on electric cars works. Um, for example, if we are going downhill, so the car now has uh, enough kinetic energy and we take our foot of the accelerator pedal, and because the gear, we assume that the gear is still engaged, now the engine is driven by wheels, so it doesn't need any fuel to run and the engine control module simply shuts down the fuel injectors. But if accelerator pedal is pressed again, the engine control unit reintroduces fuel supply and it happens pretty smoothly. In most cases, you won't be able to hear or feel anything. Actually, if your car has a loud exhaust, you still might be able to hear it, even though there is no combustion happening in the engine, pistons are still moving up and down and compressing the air, and valves are still keep opening and closing. Also, contrary to popular belief, DFCO is not only engaging when we're driving downhill. From my experience, it was still kicking in for a short amount of time when I was driving uphill, even with AC and headlights on. Here, I connected my oscilloscope probes to fuel injectors. And normally only one injector would be enough for our experiment, but because this particular engine has two types of fuel injection, normal port injection, where fuel is sprayed into intake manifold before the intake valves, and direct injection where fuel is delivered straight into the cylinder by another injector. And that's why we're going to read signals from at least two injectors. Okay, now let's take a ride and see what happens. Okay, so what we saw is that every time when I was depressing the accelerator pedal, both drafts didn't show any signals and fuel injector stayed shut. The green channel was still showing about 12 to 14 volts and uh, it's due to the way it connected the probe. There is a constant power supply as soon as ignition is on and uh, when the injector is not activated, uh, we're able to see that power is going through the coil. It's not really the point here anyway because all we needed to confirm is that the injector stayed closed. Okay, I hope you found it interesting and I see you next time. Bye.